Hello everyone. Welcome to the session. Today I'm really excited to be chatting with Neha Sharma. Neha is here today to talk with us about her experience on change management training and certification. Hi Neha, how are you doing today? Hi Suchitra, I'm doing great. It's a lovely morning. So good morning. Indeed it is. So Neha, uh, before we begin, could you just introduce yourself to us please? Sure. Hi, I'm Neha Sharma, a senior manager with an MNC. I come with 15 years of diverse experience. I started as a software developer. Alongside, I pursued my MS in software engineering from Bits Pilani. I gradually moved to IT project management, followed by business management, and eventually landed into executive management and consulting. Apart from my mainstream work, I am fond of design thinking and have conducted multiple workshops and sessions on it. I also drive the diversity, equity and inclusiveness agenda as I believe no matter what you do and whichever phase you are in, it's a critical element for growth and success. Thank you, Neha. Uh, Neha, you're working as a program manager, isn't it? So what made you decide to study and, you know, undergo the change management training and certification? As we all know, change is inevitable and hence it needs to be managed. In this rapid paced world, the things are indeed changing drastically. It becomes challenging to embrace the challenge alongside minimizing the disruption. I really wanted to manage myself and prepare myself for those upcoming changes, both in my life and work. That's why I decided I should upskill myself by learning change management. Amazing. Thank you for sharing that bit of experience as to why you decided to study change management. So coming on to the training experience per se, uh, could you just share a little bit about your experience on how the training and the certification went? I underwent training from GRT Consulting. The experience had been fulfilling as the processes are well defined, the curriculum is well aligned and they have best in class highly skilled trainers. With 20 hours of training and ample guidance from Ramani sir, I attempted foundation level exam followed by practitioner level through APMG International. The examination experience was smooth. I took both exams proctored and received my results instantly followed by issuing of digital badges over the next couple of days. Overall, the process was seamless. I'm really glad that you actually went ahead and shared your badge as well, which I'm sure you'd have received a lot of comments on social media for that. So uh, you mentioned, Neha, that you took both the foundation and the practitioner level. So I would like to ask you if you could share as to why you decided to take the practitioner level, which is the higher level. Mm -hmm. I would say it's the way training is planned and executed. You know, it's the way it is delivered that builds your confidence to move up to the levels. Foundation exam is a closed book, 40 question one, and it's objective in nature that gives you elementary knowledge. Talking about practitioner level, which is an open book exam, 80 marks one, 80 questions, and it tests your knowledge around the scenario-based questions, like the deeper understanding on your concepts. For example, there is an organization, you know, that had been following a process. They're going for a major process improvement. Then bases the current scenario and the future state, there'll be questions around which all functions and stakeholders are impacted, who all needs to be involved to implement the change, How will you implement the change? How will you influence the audience? What all kind of triggers you will use? Who should be taking or who should be making what kind of communications, etc. So these are the kind of questions which are asked there. I feel practitioner level exam gives you an edge as it boosts your confidence and it gives you the certification from APMG International. Right. So... To sum it up, practitioner is more scenario based. It's a more practical understanding of the concepts you learned and how you would you know, put it into use going forward. Right. If you could share as to how you had any success in actually implementing and how is the change management training actually benefiting in your current role? It has indeed helped me very much because as a consultant and manager, I provide consulting and manage large scale programs 
which have got a lot of stakeholders. The change management training helps you in donning that change hat and asking the right questions. It provides you ample exposure that you can you can look through those scenarios. You can you can better relate to those change scenarios with a more rounded perspective. That that effectively helps you in managing the program. Yeah. Okay. Right. And if you could just share a little bit about any success you've actually had in applying the change manage- management concepts in any transformation programs and a little bit of, you know, how that has come through. Sure. Yes. Yeah, so I was a part of change management program wherein we have, we are implementing an improved tool across the organization. It was a Herculean task because the tool was interacting with almost every function across the organization. Coming to the implementation part or how had been the experience, how do we conduct it? Uh, You have to first have a good understanding of the change vision and objectives. So you start with that, followed by doing a couple of assessments, for example, change impact assessment, change severity assessment, stakeholder impact assessment. That's when you get to know which all kind of impacts are going to be because of this change. For example, the process, people, technology, these are going to be impacted. Who all are the key stakeholders whom we should connect with, who and the kind of impact it has on them. Not every stakeholder will be impacted the same way. That's where, you know, the change severity assessment, that how severe is the change for all of these? And what kind of communications are you going to get driven through these stakeholders? That is an additional thing that comes out of the, these activities that, you know, you should be able to tag the change actions to these stakeholders. Once you have all this information in hand, then uh, we can move to the change uh, or the communication framework, wherein you strategize that what kind of, uh, that what are the key messages you want to deliver to which audience and what should be the approach. That's when you plan it around that, the all the who, when, why, what, and whom's around the plan, followed by the execution. You have a well-defined plan, you execute it. Last, and very important is the measurement. You know, throughout the process, you need to evaluate the effectiveness of communication. How do you do that? Is through the feedback mechanisms and the loops you have put in place. So, because eventually you are implementing this change for the people and the processes and the technology, eventually it should serve people. So you need to ensure you keep listening to it, to the feedbacks. You you need to ensure that you go back and ensure the people are happy with the change at least the majority of the people if not all because it's it's really important that it should it should reach the right level it should pay the right level of impact uh, to the audience to your intended audience so how do you think is change management of benefit to those who are not typically change management professionals see per me change management not just is an organ is at organization level but at individual level as well Hence, it's needed by all irrespectively. Day in and day out, we are doing something new, planning to bring some changes to life. We need to just pause and in the first place, it's critical to understand if the change is worth it. Followed by the questions, why people as individuals or professionals will embrace or resist the change? Is there anything we can do? to be more inclusive, to ensure we get these people along on the journey. Change management training benefits you by providing the necessary knowledge, skills, and tools to address these questions. Thank you, Neha. And I agree, you know, asking the right questions is really important. And thank you for your views on that. So finally, do you have any words of advice? Because there are many people who are aspiring to take up the change management training and certification. We get a lot of inquiries. So I'm sure any words of advice would help them. Definitely, because uh, this is one thing why I opted for it. See, learning should never stop. That is one thing. And learning should be in a meaningful way. I, I found that change management is not just a professional skill. It is a life skill. It takes ages to understand and adapt the change theory. However, with this training, you can confidently take that first step towards this journey. You'll know how to better understand the change, its faceted impacts, collaborate, and asking the right questions and teeing it all up together to make it happen. Change management training is indeed the right step towards effectively and successfully implement the change. 
Thank you so much, Neha. You've been really great and you shared some amazing experiences and insights. So thank you for sparing the time with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Suchitra, for having me. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you.